Oh, look at it. <laughs> Just on page III. <laughs> uh, these provisions, the first of their kind, introduce a new fundamental principle <laughs> as well as a framework for strong cooperation <laughs> between states to prevent and detect corruption and to return the proceeds. <laughs> Now, corrupt officials oh, in future oh, will in future find fewer ways to hide their illicit gains. <laughs> this is particularly important issue for many developing countries oh, where corrupt high officials, yes, have ooch, look at that, plundered the national wealth and where new governments badly need resources <clears throat> to reconstruct and rehabilitate their societies. <laughs> Now, as much as you wouldn't say that you're uh, corrupting, yes, mm -hmm, and plundering, yep, yeah, the natural wealth of the state of Washington. <laughs> uh, for the United Nations, the convention is the culmination of work that started many years ago <laughs> when the word corruption <laughs> was hardly ever uttered in official circles. <laughs> Now, this idea of corruption on the global agenda... <laughs> Um, I'm thinking, yes, that for you to refuse to enforce the laws, you are corrupt. Um, as in the sheriff right now, you're corrupt. There's no possible way you should be employed as a sheriff. Now, I'm going to sue the United Nations. Yes. I'm going to sue them individually for refusing to obligate the United States to remove that dissolution of marriage and give me my sons. Yes. Then I'm going to look for every marriage certificate that was issued to every American citizen. And I'm going to have a class action lawsuit against the United States and the United Nations. Yes. And then I'm going to sue you, Sheriff, right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sue you for refusing to acknowledge the jurisdiction of the United Nations. Yes. Now, I need to know all your foreign relatives, and I need to know where your genetics are in every nation of the world. Yeah. See, these dogs, I don't, I don't think that they're um, actually just limited to uh, the local county. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's say I looked at asset recovery. <laughs> to skip forward, uh, 42. Yes. I'm going to want to know every biological child that you used your genetics to have in every nation of the world. Ooh, ooh. And then I'm going to want to know ooh, the oh, jurisdiction. Each state party shall adopt such measures as be necessary mm -hmm, uh, to its jurisdiction over the offenses established in accordance with the convention. Yes, yes, yes. Now it says when. Oh. No, jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. uh, when the offense is committed in the territory of the state party, uh, or the offense is committed on board a vessel that is flying the flag of the state party, poop. Aircraft that is registered under the laws of the state party, yes. At the time that the offense is com committed, yes. Now, subject to Article 4 of this convention, a state party may also establish its jurisdiction over any such offense when, oh, when the offense is committed against a national of that state party. Now, these state parties, yeah, I think that they are defined as nations, and I'm a national of the United States of America. My actual citizenship. Now, uh, you're being dickheads right now. And you're going to find yourself some very hot water. Very, very hot water. Okay. Now, I informed you that um, this offense against the laws of the United States. See, there's this little thing called D. The offense is uh, committed against the United States of America. Now, as much as you don't want to consider the issuance of the dissolution of marriage as an actual crime against the United States of America, <laughs> it actually is because you didn't enforce the court rules. No, <laughs> you didn't enforce the requirements of the law. Yes. And you didn't enforce the rights of the nationals of the United States of America. <laughs> now, 
I'm thinking mm -hmm. when you commit a crime against the actual nation of the United States of a, of a, of 